Hey guys, if you like my videos, click on subscribe and give me a like. And don't forget the bell so you can get notified of new ones. Hey guys, how's it going? Dale here. For this video, I have another Acer Aspire 5, the new Aspire 5 series. It's uh, A515-43. It's the Ryzen 3 model. I've done a video with the Intel version of this and they're a little different on the inside what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open it up and show you how to upgrade the RAM it ships with four gigabytes of DDR4 I'm gonna double that up to eight and I'm gonna put a one terabyte mechanical drive inside in addition to the 128 SSD that it comes with um, and I'm also going to um, switch it out of ESMO, but I have another video. I'm not going to do the ESMO in this video. I have another video you can watch my channel that shows how to do that. That's pretty simple. But basically for now, I'm going to show you how to open it up, put the one terabyte mechanical drive in. These come with an upgrade kit already on the inside of the laptop that you can use to mount and install the, the mechanical two and a half inch drive. So we're going to leave the 128 gig SSD where it's at. And of course we're going to add the RAM. So, I'm going to shut it down and show you how to open it up. Alright guys, so I'm going to open this up. I already, I already took out all the screws on the bottom side. They're all the same length. They're really easy to get to, so that's not a big deal. And I'm going to use a couple of different little spudger tools here to get the bottom pan off. These aren't usually too difficult to do, but you still want to be careful about leaving tool marks and whatnot. But there's a seam right along here in the front that we're going to try to get it popped open. So let me start. I'm just slide my little thin tool in here on the seam and just gently work it around to get access. Sometimes on these, even the Intel models with these Aspire 5s along the front edge here, you can see I got it started here. They can be a little stubborn along the front, I, I found, but typically, just get in there and be careful. You don't want to be yanking on it too hard. You want to break something. Kind of a gentle jiggle and the pan comes right off okay before we start poking and prodding around here I am going to disconnect the battery real quick it's pretty easy to do it's this connector right here it's just going to slide back out of the connector some come up this one comes back so I'm going to disconnect that just to be on the safe side and always use plastic tools please <clears throat> Alright, you can see I got the battery all disconnected now, okay? So, still use plastic tools. Now you can see Acer puts the mounting bracket for the 2.5 inch drive. <clears throat> got four screws holding it in. And this is the I.O. board for the SATA cable, which is stuck underneath here. We're going to take that off. <clears throat> Before I do that, I am going to put our DDR4 stick of RAM in here. It's a 4 gig stick. In addition to the 4 gig they have in here, there's an empty slot here. This is your 128 gig NVMe drive right here, SSD M.2. So you can see how easy the RAM just snaps in there. So first thing I'm going to do is remove these four screws. Get this mounting bracket out. This is the little I.O. board that we're going to attach that little cable to and then it connects to the motherboard. It connects right, right here, this little lever, white lever here, just gently flip it up. Right here. Okay.
get these four screws out holding our little cradle for the mechanical drive. So you can see how that comes right out. We're going to set the drive right in here. This is your little SATA connector right here. We're going to peel it off here. They stick it on there and just do it gently so you don't damage it. It's very small, but the it is marked on each end. This end here goes to the motherboard MB. And this here says HDD. It goes to the little I.O. board here. I'm going to connect that. Got to flip up this little white lever here. Just like that. Make sure it goes in all the way. Oops. Like I said, make sure it goes in all the way. If you push it in right up to that white line there, then you know you're good. Okay, make sure you clamp it down really good. And then this goes right on your hard drive. So this is a one terabyte standard Western Digital hard drive. That we're going to use for extra storage, photos, videos, music, files, whatever you want. In addition to the Windows installation being on your M.2 drive over here and your apps and whatever else you want to put on there. Now that can easily be upgraded as well to a larger size 250, 500, one terabyte. But for this job, customer wanted this, so that's what we're going to do. Now when you put this in here, obviously, you got to make sure that the hard drive lays in here like this, so our connector lines up to the motherboard. So you want to get it in the cradle right here. You can do a dry run on it if you want, just to make sure everything lines up. Just like that. Pretty much only goes one way, guys. Kind of hard to mess that up. So now they also ship inside the actual box here four little mounting screws to mount your hard drive in that cradle. So I'm going to use those screws. As long as they're right here. Don't have to put, don't have to go super tight on these, just snug them in there. <clears throat> Like I said, I have another video doing this with the Intel version of this Aspire 5. The mounting process is a little bit different. But they hide the cradle inside. On the Intel ones, it actually comes loose in the box. Because like I said, it's a little, little different. So now we're going to place the hard drive in here. It goes in just like that, and we're going to attach this to the motherboard right here. This little cable, got to flip that little lever up there. They give you just enough cable here to make that connection. Make sure it goes in all the way. You gotta take your time. Sometimes you got to bend it a little bit. You can bend it a little if you're careful. Like I said, it slides right up, right up to the little line, the white line on the on the cable there, and clamp it back down. Then put your four mounting screws back in the cradle here, keep it from falling out, of course. It's a pretty easy upgrade, inexpensive, but you took a Laptop that only had four gigs of RAM and no extra storage. Oops. And now we got a whole terabyte of extra storage or whatever size you want to put in there. Could be a 500 gig hard drive, but hard drives are cheap these days, so now we got eight gigs of RAM. Like I 
said it's a DDR4. It's 2400 is what I'm using. But you can use 2666, 2400. So we got our hard drive mounted back in here. We got the extra stick of RAM. We got two modules here, each four, total eight. Now we're going to reconnect our battery here. Make sure that goes in all the way. All right, battery's connected. Everything looks good. And all you got to do on that hard drive, that new hard drive, is once you boot back into Windows, right click on your start button, go to disk management, and then you, you can create a new simple volume. Name it whatever you want, storage, hard drive, or just leave it at new volume. That's the default name you'll get. So now I'm going to hit the power button. I'm going to boot it back up real quick. Like I said, it's a pretty easy little upgrade. These are Spire 5s. I kind of like them. They're not real expensive. It's got a full HD 1080p display. It's got a backlit keyboard. It has a USB port on this side. It has two USBs and a 3.0 USB HDMI, Ethernet port, headphone jack, and power cord. This model doesn't come with a C type USB connector or an SD card slot. The Intel versions have the C type or USB USB C port. So now that I've added the two and a half inch one terabyte drive, like I said, guys, all we got to do is go over here to your start button, right click on your start button, and then click on disk management. And it's going to scan for all your drives. And here's our new, the first one in the list here is our one terabyte hard drive. I know this is hard to see, but all you have to do is right click on it, hit new simple volume, hit next, make sure the size, volume size is correct, which it is, hit next, next, NTFS of course, and hit finish. We'll do a quick format on it. And there. So now if we go close disk management, oh just open up your file explorer, click on this PC. And here's our new volume. Here's our 128 gig SSD and our new volume. Uh, ready to do whatever you want. And you can right click on this and rename it to whatever you want. Just call it storage. <clears throat> there. So added storage, got eight gigs of RAM. It said I'll switch it out of S mode. That's no big deal. Appreciate you guys watching. Check out my other videos. Don't forget to subscribe. Help build my channel. I would appreciate it. And have a great day. Thanks for watching.